Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Airport CEO. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back here at Emerald City Airport where things are going pretty darn well. I do believe we're about to open check-in for flight SL442. Check-in opens in right now. There we go. So those guys are going to queue up to get on the flight. They'll head through security and they'll be ready for SL442 or whatever it is. Whichever flight it happened to be. I've completely forgotten. Uh, is it any of you guys? No, there's no flight scheduled for any of those guys at the moment. I guess it doesn't land for another hour and a half. So, And it is a small gate, so they'll figure it out. Uh, SL442 is going to be in small gate number two, followed by CL34 on gate one and CL975. 973, sorry, on gate three. Now, today's going to be very interesting because last time we went ahead and uh, we got this fuel. We got the fuel depot for Jet A1 fuel, which is used by commercial airlines. So that's technically what we're handling at this airport. So we should see a little bit more money come in as we go ahead and start refueling these flights. So refueling is not in progress. The service run is in progress. Uh, boarding isn't in progress, but there comes a truck. Gonna go ahead and refuel the flight there. We should have another one coming in and another truck coming down to refuel that one as well. And this one should be refueled as well. So that'll hopefully make us a bit of money. Definitely looks like we're making some money. We're uh, making a good amount of money there actually off the refueling alone. I don't know if we're going to get into the positive there. We actually are going to get into the positive there just off the back of refueling. So in that hour, we did have a profit, which is great news. These guys are not going to be taking off. So we are going to lose money at this point. But it does seem to me like we have a position here where... Actually, we might make some money based on the fact that these guys are paying the parking fees as well as then using the runway to take off, which I think charges them as well. No, it doesn't. But yeah, it does seem like we are actually making some money here, which is kind of exciting, actually. Very much okay with the idea of making some money. And yeah, we do make money based on them using the runways. We get 5,000 each time when they uh, go ahead and use the runway there. So that's not bad. We do have a general aviation request, but we do have this guy landing as well. Uh, let's go ahead and get that thing repaired whilst we have an opportunity to do so. Uh, you guys are going to come in. Passengers are going to give me their money. Then the airline gives me money for the refueling as well. So, yeah, this is actually looking like it's going to be a relatively profitable airport based on the simple fact that uh, refueling planes happens to make a decent chunk of money. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we do have some complaints that employees can't locate, uh, can't reach its work position. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, because I'm not quite sure how exactly my employees can't reach their work positions. Uh, I'm really not sure how they can't do that. Maybe they just can't go through... I don't know. I don't know why you guys can't reach your work positions. That's That's really strange to me. That is really, really strange to me. Anyway, at this point, we should actually have some basic baggage operations, which we absolutely do. Uh, we have overground and underground conveyor belts. So what I'm going to do is cannot be placed on walls. That's the overground one. That's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to underground conveyor belts here. And basically, we're going to set this up so that this underground conveyor belt is going to run up into that area there. And we're going to set it up as well. Like, let's see here. Am I going to be able to do this? Does that work? I don't know if it does. Does that work? Can we cancel that one, please. Because what I'm thinking of doing, if we go to conveyor belts again, I want to put one there. Which is possibly going to be a little bit awkward, actually. Let's just cancel those and cancel you. If I was to put an underground conveyor belt there, do they connect together? No, it doesn't look like it. 
this wall might need to be moved, which kind of annoys me. Um, unless I want an overgrown conveyor belt, which I kind of don't want. Or we need to move the check-in desks forward a bit. I think moving the wall is kind of going to be the easier option here. So that may very well have to be done. Uh, let's go to here for a second. Let's go to underground belts and just cancel that entire belt for me. Just to make sure that doesn't go in. And we'll start with a cargo bay. We'll do it this way rather than uh, the way I was going to do it. Now, this can't be placed on walls, which is fine. Because what we can go ahead and do is go to structures, go to walls, and we're going to bring a wall across here again. So this entire area is going to be separated from the rest of the airport. Uh, we probably want to go to doors as well. We want a medium door there. And we'll do a medium door there as well. So that's going to be a staff area. This entire space is going to be a staff area. Uh, possibly. I guess what we could do is go to walls and say, you know, put a wall there and get rid of that one for the time being. Then go to areas and say that this is no longer secure. And that this is all a staff area as well as a secure area. So we'll get that done. We can come in here and possibly demolish some wool. So we want to get rid of that bit. And that should let me go ahead and put the cargo bay just in there once they uh, get rid of that last bit of wall. I don't know who's holding that up. Someone needs to uh, go ahead and demolish that for me. You wouldn't mind there, buddy. Uh, so the cargo bay is going to go in that spot. And we also want to make sure that the zone between the cargo bay and the tarmac there is also secure. So just like that. And that'll get our, our baggage bay all sorted. Now, we do actually have a need for a... Uh, we are going to need a way to get the baggage off of planes as well. So we are going to need to bring the conveyor belts around into an arrivals area, which could actually be over here. We could have an arrivals area over here. That is an option. Uh, so let's have a look at the conveyor belts again. So this is the one that goes out. That's actually going to work perfectly. So if we go to conveyor belts and go underground, this one's going to basically feed into this room which will be an arrivals area. And then this one needs to feed up into this space, which is going to be a little bit tricky because I need to figure out how to connect these things together, uh, which I'm really not looking forward to doing. I really do feel like we just need to move the wall. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. Let's go to structures. Let's go to walls. Uh, this is going to look a little bit janky, but unfortunately, it's what we have to do. So that's going to go down to there. And we'll get that wall built before we remove the old one. Actually, you know what we're probably going to have to do? We're probably, probably going to need to uh, take out some of those doors as well. So medium door goes away. And we'll probably take this one away as well. We'll take out all of them until we figure out exactly what way this is going to work. Because like I said, this is kind of going to be a little bit janky. So build that right up to there and build that right down to there. So that wall's going in. And once it's finished, we can go ahead and just demolish, I guess, that entire stretch down here. Well, we don't need to get rid of all of it, but a, a decent chunk of it at least. So all of that needs to go. And possibly that bit as well. But uh, yeah, let's just remove that bit and remove that bit as well. So we'll see. We'll see how that ends up playing out. Uh, so that's not all gone. We want to go into structures, floors, and we want to get the blue mat back done in here. So the whole way along there. Uh, possibly not there, actually. We'll go for light wood on that one. So there you go. If you wouldn't mind getting rid of that for me, buddy. Thank you. All right, let's see what we can do with the conveyor belts at this point. So they all need to go underground at some point. So there, there, actually not there, sorry. That one needs to go there. 
and there. Actually, I'm doing that wrong, aren't I? Um, yeah, I'm doing that. They all need... No, I'm not doing that wrong. Never mind. Uh, get rid of you. And... That... Hold on. Am I... I, need to... I need to redo this. I do need to redo this to make sure I'm doing it right. So we need one there. There. Um, there. We don't need one there. We do need one there. Have I done that right? I think I've done that right. Because what we need to do here is go to conveyor belt, go to overground and say that goes there and then that one feeds in like that. So I think I've done that right. So those are all going to feed onto those underground parts. That should be fine. That should work perfectly fine. So if we go to underground again, we want to say there. And... There, there, and there. I think, again, that is going to work fine. So you connect, you face up, you go in. And then they all just feed on to one single underground conveyor belt, which is... I mean, yeah, that, that, that'll be fine. So that's going to go... It's going to go under the wall. I think under the wall is probably the best place for it. So we'll go like this. Just the whole way up into this area. It'll feed out onto the baggage bay. Then all of these guys just need to be connected like so. And that will open up baggage handling to the airport, which I'm kind of excited about. So we'll get that all sorted. We can go to structures. We can go to walls and say we want a wall there. And there as well. And there as well. So obviously that looks a little bit strange. I think what we can maybe do is remove some parts of wall. Oh, that is actually going to cause some problems. Um, we'll do that. We could basically move that entire wall back. That is an option to shuffle that entire wall around. But I think what I'll do instead is I'm actually going to put this wall back in over here. And we're going to have some doors that open into the... Uh, what do you call it? The arrivals area, the baggage collection thing, the baggage carousels. That's basically what we're going to open that up into. So that'll be fine. That's all going to go away. That bit of wall is going to stay on both sides. We need to get rid of that door and put a new one there. And then I believe we need to go back doors, get a single wooden door. So there, 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 and there. And that should work perfectly. Obviously, the security area corridor is significantly smaller than it was previously. But that's fine. It's still a secure area, so I'm not too stressed about it. Uh, we'll go to floors. We'll get our light wood and put it there. And there we go. We have baggage handling, technically. Technically speaking, we sort of have a baggage handling uh, capability, at least. We still need to get the cars for it, though, uh, which we'll do momentarily. Uh, let's go to conveyor belt. Let's go to overground. And let's just go like this for the baggage to come in. And then what we can do is we'll have the baggage come in there. And we'll get the underground belts again. So go to underground. Go to there, there, uh, like that. And this is just going to feed around like that. So that should work perfectly fine as a baggage handling area. So baggage claim is right there. So that should work. That is, in theory, all connected. Do I need to connect you guys to... Connect baggage bay there, uh, connect baggage bay there, and connect baggage bay there as well. Uh, you don't need connected. 
that's fine. But you do need to be connected to a baggage bay. So we need to connect all six of the check-in desks to the different baggage bays there. They all go to the same one at the moment. That can be changed. We could get another baggage bay at some point in the future, but this is fine for the time being. And then if we activate that, we... What do we need? It's connected to a check-in desk, a stand, a baggage claim area. So that area needs to be connected to the baggage bay. So this should not be able to be activated. Yes, it is. Uh, so no one's currently working it, except now they are. And the only thing that I think we're going to need is more vehicles. So if we go to economy and go to procurement, what we need are some service trucks. So you are cargo and baggage holding. This is a smaller one, which is interesting. They are also roofless, which I guess is probably an issue if it starts raining, but... Don't think I'm gonna stress too much about that. Actually, you are... You have a roof. So let's order three of these. And... I might also order some of the small ones as well, just to see what happens. So we'll grab two of the small ones. And we should see those all come in relatively quickly. Uh, we could also go to items, go to gate seating, and say that we'll get some gates or some uh, some seating around the baggage claim area. It is kind of annoying when you go to baggage claim and there's no seating and you have to wait for a while, so definitely seems like it would be an idea to do that kind of thing. Could do some decorations in there as well. Just to make the area a little bit nicer. And I think that'll be fine. Could put some laptop tables in as well so people can actually uh, use their devices while at the airport. I think we'll do that shortly. This is probably going to become a relatively social area or have some shops in it or something like that at some point. But we'll go ahead and get that all done for baggage claim. And hopefully we'll see some good things. Now, if I look at my flight planner as well, we have actually opened up nighttime flights. So maybe it will be an idea to look at Monday and say, you know, we have a lot of uh, Stripe Air flights waiting to go. So you've got seven flights waiting there. So let's have that come in at five past midnight. There's six there, which are going to be 20 past midnight. And let's see what else we've got here for recurring flights. Maple, do you have any big recurring flights? Six right there. That's going to be... Uh, 40 minutes past midnight. Obviously not ideally spaced out. We could probably change those, but whatever. Uh, that's going to give us plenty of recurring flights. Thursday suddenly finds itself freed up a lot more. Friday is suddenly a lot more messy. I think I might let my schedule sort of fade out a little bit, and then someday we're going to have no flights to deal with. Except for these, these Monday ones are good. They're fine. Uh, if we have a look again, that looks like five to me. So, unfortunately, we can't do that because they are technically very close together. So, yeah, I think we're going to let the schedule sort of fade out a little bit. Just so we can uh, make things a little bit, you know, easier. Uh, let's just move you out of there. I don't, I really, I want to cancel that flight completely. Uh, that's, that's acting very strange right there. Can we cancel? It has arrived. It's too late to cancel. What do you mean it's arrived? Wait, was that that Maple Flight 7187? What? Oh, it's there. How have I managed to... Oh, dear. Uh, Maple Flight 7187 definitely needs to be cancelled tomorrow. Or Monday. Uh, it needs to be cancelled on Tuesday as well. It seems I've encountered a bit of a bug. Uh, Wednesday, probably want to cancel that Maple flight as well, because we technically have two flights overlapping. Uh, Thursday, probably also worth cancelling that flight. Friday, it's no longer there, which is good. Friday is a really messy day, though. I'm not looking forward to it. Uh, can we reschedule some of these flights a little bit, just to, uh... 
you know, make them a little bit better to work with. Uh, so you are confirmed. You are fine. You are going to be rescheduled to be there. Again, just to get a bit more room around them. Uh, and you are going to be rescheduled to go... Ooh. Or perhaps a flight on another day. Um, I guess there. Just a little bit of space between them. And then you are rescheduled to go there. Again, a little bit of space between them. Uh, this will be fine to reschedule back a little bit as well. So that should be fine. By Saturday, we should see the flight schedule get a little bit less packed. Uh, can I cancel this flight? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on with that Maple flight. Oh, God, it's back in, isn't it? No, it isn't. But I can't do anything with it. I probably have to reload my save. We'll do that eventually. Uh, we should have our new trucks here by this point, shouldn't we? We should have the baggage handling vehicles in here, which is great news. And I figure since we do actually have nighttime flights coming in, it might not be a bad idea to look at... Can we get lights? We look at, yeah, light poles. So getting some lights outside the airport is probably not a bad idea. Just to, uh, just to brighten things up a little bit. Just get some double light poles there. Get one there and there. We can uh, sort of double them up with the lines that we have. So something like that should be perfectly fine. We could do similar over here. Uh, we can actually place the light poles on the paths as well. So I think I'm going to do that. Rather than sort of placing them the awkward way I was doing there. Uh, so if I put a light pole there and there. Uh, there and there. We can do... These ones can be by the doors. The rest of them are going to be on the paths. So these ones technically need to be... I guess like this... And then, like this. We don't want any in the middle there. Uh, there and there. And then, like that. So that should light up the area really nicely. We could actually just double them up a little bit more. Again, just to uh, brighten everything up really nicely. So there, 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 and there. We'll get those installed. And hopefully, that means we'll be able to see a bit better outside. Which, technically, you'd want to do at an airport. You'd probably be able to, you know, you'd probably want to be able to see, is, is what I'm getting at. So we'll see what these look like. They actually do brighten the place up really nicely. That's absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. Uh, so you guys are coming in. You are being refueled. I think we did make a little bit of money off of those as well. Uh, have I enabled baggage handling? I don't think I have. No. There we go. So baggage handling has been enabled. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, so baggage handling hasn't been requested for you guys. It might very well be on the next flight, though. Which will be really, really exciting if it is. Uh, also, why am I... Where are you guys going? Do I need to, like... Wait a minute. So what company are you with? Blue Build Construction. Okay. Well, I figure we don't have any construction going on at the moment. So, technically speaking, if we go to construction, we could dismiss all of my contractors. So that they'll just go away instead of hanging around the airport kind of awkwardly. Which doesn't seem like a bad idea. So, you guys are all coming through to board those flights. You are actually putting your luggage out here. Uh, if I go to vehicles real quick, you guys aren't actually all assigned, are you? Uh, so you're going to need to go to Depot 1. I need to make sure all of these service trucks are in Depot 1 as well. Assuming Depot 1 can actually, you know, manage them all. Uh, you are fine. You are fine as well. Let me locate you. So yeah, you guys are in Depot 1 at the moment. We have got some baggage coming out. I'm slightly worried that that might be for these flights and might not actually get loaded onto the flight. But I guess we'll see what happens. It might actually, you know what, considering all those flights just left, I'm assuming it isn't. I'm assuming that it's going to be the next flight. 
that comes in that will request baggage handling. So that's going to be SL781 and beyond, basically. Hopefully. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, SL781 going to London. You are going to be on flight. Let's see here. SL781. Yeah, that seems about right. None of you guys... Well, some of you have luggage. I'm wondering... Yeah, so... There's baggage handling coming out to pick up baggage... Off of the flight. There's baggage handling going down to pick up baggage off of that flight as well. And... That one as well with one of the bigger trucks. Then you're picking up baggage, taking it out onto the plane. That's going to be loaded. And that is beautiful to see. So yeah, baggage is being handled back and forth onto all of the flights. So that should improve the quality of the airport a little bit. We did make a bit of money in that last hour. But I feel like we do technically need to get more... We need more stands to be making money more consistently and possibly more runways as well, technically. Uh, speaking of runway, this thing does need to be repaired, so we'll get that done. And the stands could probably also use some uh, repairs as well. There we go. Can I recolor you? No. Well, that's unfortunate. Either way, we have baggage handling. We have baggage up here. We have the uh, arrivals area as well. So everything should pretty much be sorted for people to drop off their baggage. So I want to head into here for a second. I want to go to economy and procurement. And I think we probably want to look into different things here. So the tilt tray, the, the conveyor belt tilt tray will let me make my design a bit more complex. So I could get a second baggage uh, claim area. That's something I'm tempted to get. I kind of want to get shops, though, and I kind of want to get food franchises. I feel like that's a good idea. So let's go in to staff and vehicles. Let's go to the board. We want to get a strategy director. So strategy director, view the applicants. Uh, we'll go for... You're not very good, actually. We'll go... You're a bit better. You've got a lot of logic. Uh, you're a bit more well-balanced. Let's go for Eva. We'll bring her in as a strategy director. We'll go to economy, procurement, and we want to get the food franchises and the shop upgrade as well. We want both of those because we want to start getting some shops into this area down here. Now, obviously, like I said, it would be really good to maybe make the uh, conveyor belt system a bit more advanced so we could get a second uh, baggage claim area done here. At the moment, we don't need it. And on top of that, we also have plans to make either... Well, I, I say we want to build another terminal over here. We do. That's just going to take time. So this airport's going to have to be expanded at some point. We're probably going to have to bring in some medium flights, even if it's just one or two uh, before we can massively expand, but I'm definitely feeling pretty good. I'm also really tempted to see if I can get another aircraft stand down here. I just know that would be kind of tricky. Like, really, really tricky. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's maybe not something we're going to do. If we move the ATC tower, we could totally do it. Which is tempting since we have this space up here. Uh, you know what? I think we might look into it. How much is it for an air traffic control tower? It is 15,000. You know what? Let's, let's get an air traffic control tower up there. Let's go to infrastructure, service roads, grass, and just extend it up like that. And once that's built, we can demolish the old one. And we can totally get another aircraft stand done here. Obviously, I kind of did say that I wanted to... Uh, get some shops in there. I do. I still want to get some shops in there, but we kind of have this room down here to put some shops, perhaps. So that's that's definitely something I uh, I kind of kind of want. Uh, I also realize I don't actually have my builders deployed at the moment. So operations, uh, construction, actually. Let's just deploy everybody. 
Because, you know, we might as well. Might as well get all the builders here. And they all get dropped off over there, which is fantastic. They're heading out to do their work. I realize I didn't actually need to deploy all of them, but... Well, what's done is done. No point backtracking at this point. Let's see here. There's a flight planner. We are about to end Sunday. Oh, Monday is going to be a very good day. Monday is going to be a very, very good day. Because we have flights coming in as soon as it ticks over. So this is where we start getting our all-day flights. This is where we start seeing flights all the time. Now, Thursday is very empty. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Uh, Friday, I could probably also go ahead and reschedule a lot of these. So you depart at 0040, so 40 minutes past midnight. Uh, can we get you to land at... Uh, no, you don't depart at that time. What time do you depart? You depart at 340. So you're going to land at 350. And you are going to land at 4 a.m. on the dot. And then you are going to land at 10 past 4. So just there. Now you are going to depart at 7.10. So you are going to land at 7.20. Then 7.30. Which is there. And then 7.40. Which is there. I'm wondering if I can make Friday the busiest day the airport has seen yet. So you take off at 10.40 in the morning. Meaning you are going to come in and land at 10.50. You are going to land at 11 exactly. And then we're going to reshuffle you to land at 10 past 11 just there. Uh, then if we see when you depart, when did that one depart? 14.10. So you are going to land at 14.20 and then 14.30. Okay, so we have got a lot of room there to put in some individual flights, which I do want to do. So let's see what we have. We have CL777, which is going to be 1440, taking off at 1740. So 1750 is going to be the next flight. FA285, taking off at 1750. We then have... Oh, we have GW677 taking off at 6 exactly. We could get GW18 taking off at 10 past 6. And then I think that's actually going to have to be a bit of a cooldown period. So we actually have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sets of flights coming in. At each gate is going to see 6 flights. 6, 12, 18 flights in a day. That's actually not bad for a tiny little airport like this. If I do say so myself. I'm quite pleased with it. I am, I am actually quite pleased with that. I think that'll be uh, a pretty good setup to have. So you're going to head out and baggage is being sorted. Fuel is being sorted. Uh, passengers getting off of you as well. So fuel will be sorted. Baggage will be sorted on that one as well, hopefully. So that's baggage being dropped off. Bit of a graphical bug there. Not going to stress about it. Baggage is coming out. You guys are good to leave. Not bad. Not bad at all. Bit weird that that... Oh, there we go. That guy got it. All right, so you can head out. Uh, the new air traffic control tower is done. So what we can actually go ahead and do is, say, demolish the old one. Because we just don't need it anymore. And uh, we do want to make sure that we get rid of it. So that we can go ahead and actually get another aircraft stand in there. Uh, I'm hopeful that I can maybe get the aircraft stand over here. So that I can still get some shops over in this space. That would be really nice. I mean, if we have a look, we can go to aircraft stand. We can go to this one. And it basically needs to go there. Which I think is totally possible. The only issue is going to be the service roads. So we need to get rid of 10 tiles of service road. So just there. That all needs to go. Then this needs to come up like that. And that can go away as well. So if we go to aircraft stand, uh, we want to have it there. We just need all of that to be demolished first. 
which is about to be done. There we go. So aircraft stand goes there. That'll be built. The aircraft will need to come in down here. So we are going to need more taxiway, which is not a problem. It's going to go like that. Obviously a little bit expensive, but not too much of a big deal because it does give us a fourth stand, which personally I think is very important. So there we go. We have a fourth stand at the airport. The taxiways are all going to need to be built. And of course, we need to get the door in there as well. So back to structures, over to doors, large door right there. And we could also go to areas and say that this is no longer a regular secure zone. And this is not a secure zone there. We also want to make sure that sets a secure zone once the door goes in. Let's double check. There we go. Uh, can we get rid of that bit of wall, please? Anybody going to get rid of that bit of wall for me? There we go. Secure zone. And then we just need all the regular stuff, such as a boarding desk, which cannot go there. So can totally go. Uh, what way have we usually done these? Um, just like that. So that'll be fine. People can get on that flight. No problem. Uh, we are going to need to make sure that you are... Well, do we want to open that? Probably not just yet. But that's fine. We can get that placed. And that is going to give us another stand. We can... Yeah, we can actually open that. So can I set you to commercial? No attached boarding desk. Okay, so the boarding desk needs to be done first. There we go. So you guys are going to get that in. Uh, commercial. Commercial. Connect baggage bay there. And we're sorted. So we have got another stand. Okay. I think at this point, we probably want to look into getting some uh, some gate seating in here. So there and there. We could do there and there as well. Let's go to that spot and that spot. Actually, did I do that wrong? I totally did that wrong. That was completely spaced out wrong. It needs to go there and there. And then we do have this space in the middle where we could put more gate seating. I don't know that we will do that. What we could do is this sort of thing, though. And do the same on this side as well. Uh, get rid of those guys. So those are sort of spaced out relatively evenly. Uh, if we were to do that and that, again, they're relatively even. And just do that sort of thing. So that actually creates a really nice little area down there that I quite I quite like. Uh, we can actually just double up in that seating. Actually, let's not do that. That is, a, that is a nice little area. Let's go ahead and put a trash can just... Actually, no, let's not put a trash can right beside a seat. I hate that. I hate that in public places when you have a trash can right beside your seat. It's never pleasant. Uh, we'll do... We could do some medium plants in here. But I think we'll just go for that sort of thing. And we'll do that with some medium plants there and there. I think that'll make that area really nice. I think that area is going to be really, really pleasant. Could put some seating down here as well. Could do a bathroom down there, actually. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. But I think, you know, we'll get that all installed. We can dismiss the workers, but we can also go to our flight planner and see what we're doing for Tuesday. Now, Tuesday is going to be an interesting day. Because what I want to do is grab a bunch of these long-lasting flights. And say, you are going to go... Uh, just there, possibly. When does this one come in? So this one takes off at 1340. This one needs to take off at 1350. Oh, sorry, not uh, 350. So there. And that'll be fine. So you're going to take off at 350. You take off at 530, no, 835. That's fine. These aren't actually spaced out very well, are they? I probably want to look at my uh, my Friday thing here and schedule them from Friday. So 
Let's see what other airlines we have. Let's go with you. We have seven there. So that is going to be 420 landing, taking off at 720. What time do you land? You land at 720. That could be a little close. What about 715? So that's real close. Five minutes between them. I think we'll give that a shot. Any other major uh, flights coming in? Anyone want any proper recurring stuff here? That's a six. That's fine. So that is going to be seven or sorry, 1045 takeoff. This next one is going to be 1415. So I need something that recurs across numerous days. As let's look at Maple. Maple has a lot of flights, but not a lot of recurring flights, which is kind of what I'm looking for here. Probably need to make Maple happier with me, but not for the time being. Uh, that looks like a five or a six there. So let's see here. 14, 15 takeoff. Next one is going to be a 17, 45 takeoff. That'll do. So 17, 45 takeoff for you. And a, what's the next one? 2115 takeoff for you. Actually, this one can take off a bit later. 2120. So there we go. Friday is packed. Uh, today, however, it would be nice to maybe look at some other options. Uh, so let's say that we'll put this flight into uh, our latest spot there which is going to recur tomorrow as well, which I think is perfectly fine. Yeah, that's fine. If we can get a couple of uh, two-day recurring flights here, that would actually be really nice. Um, you are going to come in there. That's not interrupting anything. And let's see what else we have. Any two-day recurring flights? Yeah, just there. Isn't interrupting anything either. So that means tomorrow... We have all of those coming in. Let's see if we can get a couple more. And we'll go for one more there. So tomorrow is quite busy. Today is going to get a little bit busier, but it's going to be an interesting challenge to see if the airport can actually, you know, maintain all of this. We also don't have our color preset anymore, which is slightly upsetting. Uh, but we can go ahead and just select all of these, change them out for the green that we usually go for. Actually change out the desks as well to make sure those are the right color. Uh, so let's see. That kind of green there. That kind of green there. Looks about right. Uh, let's just get these chairs sorted. And whilst we're doing this, I really should go through and also dismiss those workers because I don't think there's anything else they're going to do for a little while. I think at this point we've done sort of a lot of what we want to do. In terms of major construction, there is still a lot to do, obviously. But uh, I, I don't think we're going to be in any rush to uh, to do a lot of things. Actually, you know what? Last thing we're going to do before dismissing the workers is build that bathroom that I was talking about. Uh, so we're going to want a door for the bathroom to go, um, I think, there. And if we go into items, we can also get some information screens, which I'm thinking can go there, which I think will be perfectly fine. Would be nice to get a couple more of them. Let's maybe put them there and there and actually get rid of that one. So a few info screens like that aren't going to hurt at all. Uh, we'll get that built. And if we go to areas, we can go to bathroom. We have actually unlocked shops as well, so we can start putting those in next time, which will be really, really good. Over to structures, though, into here. Put down some floor. Go to items and bathrooms. So, uh, toilets are going to go along that wall. We're going to want some sinks along, I think, this wall. And I think we'll get a hand dryer there. And that'll be fine. Let's maybe get rid of one of the other sinks and just do... You know, a couple of hand dryers. Uh, sink. Goodbye. Hand dryer. Hello. All right, so that's going to be a bathroom. 
Which I think we definitely need in this area because the other bathroom is way up there. So we'll get that in. Once the toilets go in, we should be set. Actually, this is... Uh, I've just realized we are going to need another refueling truck. So economy, procurement. We will want another Jet A1 truck. I think I'm actually going to grab one of the different ones just to see what they do. So, let's see here. Jet A1. We'll go with the Maverick one. Gonna take two hours to get here, unfortunately, but that's fine. Refueling will eventually get done. I think we do have enough ramp agents to service all the planes at the moment, which is beautiful news. Very happy about that. Uh, you are currently sat there doing nothing, which has me a little bit worried that you've probably bugged out. Which we really don't want. We don't want that to be a thing. But there's absolutely nothing I can do about it, so... You know, it is a what it is. Let's have a quick look at procurement again. How goes this Maverick truck? Where is the Maverick truck? It's going to be here in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Blah, 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 blah. What does the Maverick truck look like? The Maverick truck is... That one. So it is just, yeah, it is a bigger fuel truck. Which we probably don't need. But we have it. So we'll not stress too much about it. That's that's fine. I'm not too worried about that big truck. Uh, let's see here. Flight planner. We're about to start getting a bunch more flights in. We have a forest air flight coming in. We actually need to repair the runway as well. Um, why can't I see the option to repair this? There it is. So repair that. Probably want to fix up the stands as well. There we go. Uh, so what are you going to be waiting on here? You are waiting on your service round. You're waiting on baggage unloading. You're waiting on refueling. You're waiting on baggage loading and boarding as well. So baggage unloading is done. Refueling is halfway done. Baggage loading is about to be done. And then boarding, I assume, will be done when the fueling is complete as well. So it seems that everything is working out pretty well. I think the only major concern I have, I mean, are you... Yeah, you are refueled as well. So everyone's just waiting and boarding at this point. Okay, let's go ahead and dismiss my contractors. So that they'll leave the airport. We have this bathroom down here that we can go ahead and open. And that looks fine to me. We have a little bathroom. We have four gates. We have this lovely seating area. And next time, we're going to get some shops.